We are currently inside of a $5 million sneaker vault. We're out here in Los Angeles and we're at Project Blitz. My boy Dre is the owner of this spot. He has a meeting right now, but he should be coming in here a little bit later. So for the meantime, I'm gonna give you guys a three part series and we're gonna try to go through as many of these sneakers as we possibly can. So let's go ahead and get to it. We got a lot to go over. We're gonna start with the case back here and then just start working our way around the room. There are so many gems inside of this place. So starting with the first case right here, we're gonna go with the Air Jordan 11s up top. This is a special ring ceremony, Air Jordan 11 made for Ray Allen, has the 34 on the back. And then they have a second pair right here. Who was this pair made for? I don't even remember. Either way, they got two different pairs right here. Then you have the Oregon Duck 3s, you got the white, this was the football edition, and then you have the black. This is the unpit crew. As you can see, there's no pit crew logo. Usually you have something kind of like this on the side of the foot. And then you got the more modern era right here with the Oregon Duck 3s, Oregon 13s. And this is a very special Concord 11 low. And I think these are a si oh, no, they're a size 14. Okay, I was about to have to try to cop them for the collection. So this is a Concord. And in here, there is a bunch of laser and grain going on. You got different phrases and prints. And they actually even lasered the entire midsole of this shoe as well. So this is an ultra rare sneaker and uh, something I would love to try to get my hands on. They actually have a purple low top 11 like this. I don't know where it's at though. We have to figure out where it's at. Basketball, Duckman 5s right here. These things are shooting up in price, bro. I remember when they were hitting for like five racks and people were like, damn, that's a lot. Seven racks, damn, that's a lot. Now people are asking like 20, 25K for the shoe. Insane numbers. We saw this one before, Oregon 5. Then we saw a retro, so a lot of people know about this one. It's got the Oregon Duck on the back. Damn, this is my old pair. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of these because they weren't my size. <laughs> Um, we got the Oregon 6s right here. Again, I need a size 13 in these. This is 11 and a half. Can't grab these from there. I, need, I just need my size, man. Um, Duckman 4s, white version right here. So again, this was for the basketball team at the Oregon Ducks. What year was this? This is size 14. Oh, man. I don't know what year this was. I'm trying to remember. Uh, 2012. And then we had the football version right here. Everybody loves these. Still love rocking my pair. UNC's, this is a grill. I don't know if everybody knows about these, but these are definitely some grills right here. Um, they have the newer era Jordan 4's, which we'll get into in a little bit over here in the video with like the whole college pack with all the suede ones. But when it comes to the Argyle sets with the Georgetown and UNC especially, nothing, I, I, I personally think nothing matches up with those. See what I'm saying? This is kind of like that more new modern time Georgetown 3. How much? What size are these? Also 14, they got a little stain on them, so I might be able to get them for a low. <laughs> Oregon 12s right here. So on the Oregon 12s, um, it's basically kind of like a wool 12. They just did a little bit special. They did the chenille patch with the duck on here. We've seen this something kind of similar to the Oregon 8s that uh, we've seen recently come out. We got 554 fives. Uh, there was a white version and a black version of these. So this is the black suede, trophy room five. Legend of Summer 2s, and then here's one of the 1s, and I'm pretty sure they have the entire set of these, like all the different colorways, which we'll try to get those in somewhere in the vault, and I know they have the 3s somewhere in here too, because I've seen them before, so these are the Legend of Summer 1s, these are the Legend of Summer 2s, crazy, crazy shoes right here. This looks like it probably has something to do with some type of story, I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe it's just a dead stock. 12 OG. yeah og like but this is size 13 bro uh-oh i wonder what they're doing for this i'm gonna have to ask him about this one i would love to add those into the collection sheesh we're kicking it old school now see when it comes to something like this it makes it a little bit harder because the midsoles these could potentially fall apart so like when it comes to collecting the older fives in those generations makes it a little bit harder. It makes people kind of want to get something a little bit more modern time with a newer midsole on it. That way you still have the opportunity to even potentially wear the shoe. Ooh, look at that one. We'll let that one sit right there for you guys. Green metallic, we should put that green metallic in front of the Michigan 5. People are sleeping on those, why are those in the back? 
That's insane. Yeah, these are freaking nice. This is from the Kobe pack. A lot of people's grails. Now, they have the Kobe 8s over there, which we'll try to find as well. And then, this is the Westbrook. So, they actually did this a couple different times. Um, and this is the newer version of the Westbrook, which... Oh, this is oh, 2011. So, Westbrook 3s, right here in a smaller size. Soulfly 3s, right here. You got the Pantone 4. So, some people may or may not know about the Pantone pack. They did the entire Air Jordan 1 through 20 something. I did they 1 through 23 or did they add other numbers? I don't remember. But they did the entire pack with the Pantone coloring. So they did this type of material with this color with the black kind of carbon fiber vibe on the sock liner with the white outsoles. They did that with every single number, every single model. Super dope collection. Very, very expensive shoe right here. This is probably, what do you think, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars yeah, shoe, something sure. like that. This looks like an OG Columbia air jordan 4 sample right here definitely don't want to touch this one midsole is starting to crumble on us but um that's yeah, definitely another it. wild wild shoe got to figure out where the other foot is to that one undefeated fours what size are these these look like they my size oh it's a 12 okay so we got the undefeated <laughs> fours right here there's multiple versions of the undefeated fours let's actually let's pull them out one more time because i know a lot of people love seeing this shoe got the velcro patch right here with the undefeated vibes no matter the condition, no matter the size, no matter what it is, people always love and respect this sneaker. It looks like it has DJ AM information underneath it too, so this could potentially have been his pair. This is the Kobe 8 that Kobe wore, signed by Kobe. Crazy, crazy shoe. So, I mean, that already speaks enough for itself right here. Now we got the two different versions of the brown Travis Scott 4s. Um, I think there's four different versions total, so these are just two different versions. You got the tan midsole with the red Nike Air on the back. Everybody loves the Travis Scott 4, so this is definitely a nice sneaker. Um, this is one of the Mocha versions. I kind of like this one more with the dirty midsoles, um, even on the dark purple pairs as well. Super clean. And then they all have different colored um, suede on each of the brown ones. They're just all slightly different, and sometimes the back tabs are different too depending on which one you get. They did a bunch of different sample variations. Also, when it comes to the purple Travis Scott fours, a lot of people say, oh, this pair is fake. Dude. That's just because they don't know that there's multiple versions of these as well. Different midsoles, different upper materials, different back tabs, different outsoles. So this has like a dark purple translucent uh, outsole as well. And then it's got the black midsole. I really like the all black vibes when they do this. Premium black wax, black wax laces. And uh, I mean, yeah, everybody kind of knows about this shoe at this point, so. This, it's a pretty big one. What is it, size 15? This is uh, the Eminem 4. So we've seen the old Eminem 4 and then they ended up recreating it um, and doing a very, very limited run compared to the original drop. So these are even more limited than the original ones. And it's cool because they're newer, so you can actually wear the shoe, but it's a size 15, so who's gonna wear it, right? Probably gonna go to an NBA player or something like that. Now, like I was talking about with the UNC 4s, you got the Georgetown 4s right here. These right here, boy. These are grails to me, size 14. Oh man, I love this shoe. I think these are, hold on, actually, let's do it. Cause I was, I know we were not supposed to go over here yet, but we'll just check it out real quick. We got, so this is the new era Georgetown 4. You can see translucent outsole, got the speckle back, and then you got the Georgetown vibes on here. Now, the thing that I don't like about the new eras is they got all these translucent outsoles on all the different versions, which means what? Yellowing, and then if you wear the shoe, it just causes it to go bad faster. Something like this, you can wear it and make it last and still look fresh for a longer period of time. Obviously, this shoe's a little bit older, and we have seen people's pairs crumble before, but that's just based on how you store the sneaker. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like the new modern vibe, or do you like the older first retro or first whatever you want to call it? Uh, Georgetown 4 that came out for the players back, what year was this? So 10 years ago? I just feel like it's been a while now. Definitely. It's crazy because, yeah, see they got the Georgetown logo on the back of the tongue. They got the Bulldog on the front. I think, I don't know, I just love just the overall look of the shoe. Yeah, that one's And the con just everything is so dope. So here we have something that a lot of people probably have never seen before. This is a Chris Paul Air Jordan 4. So we saw this way before the Travis Scotts. Actually, what year was this? This was 2012. 
so years before we saw the Travis Scott versions, this is something that was out. So when I originally saw the friends and family of these, I immediately thought of this shoe right here. And these are actually a size 12 and Chris Paul, you know, wears this size 12, 12 and a half. So, you know, someday I'm gonna try to cut my toes off and try to fit these on my feet and get these from Dre. What else we got? With the ones, we got the fours. We got another pair of Oregon fives. We got the Eminem Carhartts. We got the Oregon sevens, Georgetown fours. This one I want to look out, honestly, more than that stuff. Look at the lasering. Look at the details. Look at all this. Whole custom on a powder blue tin. Not exactly sure what this was for, but these things are insane. Super crazy shoe. I wonder what these things are worth. What do you think these are worth? Like a couple racks probably? Yeah, probably. They're like two to five? Yep, something depending. like that. Michigan fours. I was thinking about picking these up. What do you guys think? Should I grab a pair for the collection? I had an opportunity to grab a pair about a month ago. They're still on the chopping block. I'm thinking about grabbing them, but not exactly sure. Oh, here's the other metallic, the BB-16. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. What else we got? Ooh, now see this right here. This is my vibe. Ray Allen, 34, white and purple 14. Now this is my jam right here. When it comes to Ray Allen, Chris Paul, Mike Bibby, like, I don't care what nobody says. You could like college PEs and all, but, and honestly, there was players before those guys, but I know them three in particular, they made their mark on the shoe game. You want me to give them a sneak peek of what's up here or should we wait until the next video? I, they might have to wait. We should show, show them one Show them one, show them one. Show one. I, the pair that I was looking at, it, or should we just, so I'm like a random, nah, let's do, nah, we gotta do like a regular number. There's an eight right right above you. This one? Uh, to the left. This one? Yeah, up there. All right. I'm gonna show you guys think this. that one's an eight. It's the six. Oh! Six, six, six! All right, here we go. Oh my God. We're what? gonna make a full video for you guys about this because- Oh my God. They have the entire set, all gold. I'm gonna just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay tuned. That's all I'm saying. Stay tuned. We'll explain it, what it is, what it means, why they made them. The I'll explain all to you guys set. later. Don't worry. Now here comes the SBs. This right here is an area that I think we should have Dre talk about because you know with what he's done and the amount of pairs that he purchased, especially when it comes to the Paris SB, he deserves the time to speak about this section right here. Now this right here, we got the Yeezy stuff. So we got different Yeezy samples. We got a bunch of different versions. Honestly, it's crazy inside of here, man. We got the dark gray, the infrared midsole, Yeezy one. Wow. We got the light gray. You guys have probably seen these on blogs and stuff. These are realistically sneakers that you may never see in person, honestly. Yeah. Unless you see them at like Blitz, bringing them out type thing. Air Max 180, Jiminy Christmas, what a shoe. Friends and family, this one you'll see, I have a pair of these as well. Friends and family sock liner is different, it's more vibrant orange. You typically see on the regular GR pair, but then it starts to fade into yellow over time, so that's something different. You got the Yeezy Harachis here, the different basketball shoes, you got more SBs, Dunks and Supremes, Yeezy um, Red Octobers. Tucked off back here, you got some Chris Paul 12s. Some of you may think these are Gamma 12s, but they're not. Chris Paul on the back. Super, super clean shoe. Uh, Oregon State 9. I need to get these from them. Those are Kevin Martins. Need to get, these. Chilling. Need to get these from them. Eddie Jones. This is PEs right here, y'all. Now, this is where I gotta make some too. Like, these. These is all around before that college hype and because really Oregon started it and then it came all these other PEs down the line. But for my PE heads out there that are watching this video, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when you see stuff like this, you're like, oh no, this is something special. So we have a lot of love and appreciation for different PEs like this when it comes to the game. Chris Paul 8, real dusty, real, real dusty. Okay, should we, what should we do? Just open some of the boxes as we go each? Because so. we're not going to be able to go yeah, just start everything. So up here, if you look, you got the Sheed logo, different forces, 
right here. What is this? Another Kobe one? Bunch of sheep. Is there another Kobe true. force? There? It might be. So these are all different sheed forces. Obviously, sheed forces are just amazing. Everybody that knows that. There's a Bibby one right here. So we got a Bibby eight. Look at that. These these older PEs are older, man. Early 2000s, bro. Stuff is different back in the day, bro. And people still have love and appreciate Pantones. No. Ooh. Ooh. What else we got? Oh, bro. This one right here is like so simple, so clean, but just bro, so fire, bro. Ray Allen, gold bottom. Look at that. These things are crazy, bro. Yeah, those are insane. Way better than DMP. Bro, the just the amazing version of the DMP. There it was. <laughs> Check these out, y'all. Chris Paul 11s, all gold. Got that mustard vibe gold stitch with three on the back. Gold on the bottom. Look at that. Do you think these would be better if they were like the closing ceremony gold? So they have the other ones that's like shiny. There's a couple different versions that they made of these. I don't know. I think. I've seen that shiny version. Yeah. And then they got these ones. You see what I'm saying? Literally just sitting in boxes, just on a shelf. Like we're talking about grails, bangers. Not even enough space to put them out and display them. This is it. This is the one I was talking about earlier, y'all. It is. These are so fire. I don't know. I don't care what nobody says. If these came out, and I think they're a size 13. They're a size 13. Just disrespectful. Huh? These things are so fire, bro. Is it time? Sample tagged up and everything. Ah! Bro, I've, I've seen these in the vault so many times, and I'm like, I, I think I might have to put an offer in, but I think realistically, I might have to put an offer in. Ray Allen, Ray Allen 13. This is the one that released to the public. Pretty limited release though. Georgetown, 13 low. Uh-oh. I should've never got rid of these, bro. But it was size nine, so I got rid of them, that's why. Uh-oh. These literally used to just sit in the closet. I was like, I'm never, I'm never gonna do anything with them, so I might as well just let them go. Yeah. This is like, prototype sample like bringing new in look at that blue carbon fiber these things are crazy so there's actually a few different versions of these with different midsoles and slightly different outsoles and uh just look at the premium leather on the upper sample tagged up i forgot about these bro that's crazy wow. good times what else we got ah, another one so as you guys can see, there was a lot of Jordan PE in here. I love all this stuff. This is just an old one with the 45 on the back, bro. Look at this. OG. Concord 11. 45 on the back. This ain't that retro either, y'all. No. This is real spill. You can refurbish this too, like get it right. You can definitely get these right. Damn. That's insane. Another Georgetown, another Ray Allen. So they got multiples of certain PEs as well. What's that, 12 and a half? That's the one. 12 and a half? Yeah. Oh no, this ain't it. This is like a 15. This just be more to. What's that? I think it was like Peja or something like that. I forgot who it was. I don't, there's a white and a black here up here. Finn, Michael Finley. Another 13. Now this, like I said earlier, these are PEs from back in the day. Like we used to see a lot of stuff. Remember the UNC 13s or the uh, Jayhawk 13s, different stuff like that. A lot of cool stuff. Here goes the white and purple right here. So Dre just got in and this is his spot where our project blitz, like I said earlier. And like I said, we're gonna kinda save this section for him. I want him to now elaborate on the SBs because it's only right that you talk about these. Okay, cool. You know, hey, it's always a pleasure, you know, when you're coming Yes, sir. Here, bro. Yes, sir. 
sometimes you just have uh, clients pop in, so you gotta, you know, take care of the people. Right, but right. I think you did it right, you, I, you know, in here. So, um, yeah, obviously the Freddies. Gotta you know where it is. You got it. Yeah, you know what's up. We got like one here, one there. We have a, another one too okay. over there. Okay. But, no. Yeah, the cool thing about the Freddies is basically that. The fact that people started calling them Freddy's is what made them get canceled. So they gotcha. got a cease and desist by New Line Cinema, mm -hmm. who was like the, the, the studio that owns but the Nike rights. But Nike didn't even call them the Freddy's. No. Right. But it was just like a horror pack. They made okay. a Jason Lowe. And okay. then, but these ones were like super crazy and obvious. Because uh -huh. it's like the sweater of Freddy Krueger. Right, right. The blood splatter, the because he used to ha he had the, the, the knives on the yep. on his on his So glove. talk about talk about the price of that shoe. What is currently? This is the original the pair that I first got for myself. Okay. I never wore them, mm -hmm. but I think I might. In the comment section, I want to see should I wear these shoes? Okay. I only paid four hundred for them. What? Yeah. When Rock they them when they first like came out, but now they're worth over twenty thousand. Rock them. You got them for four hundred bucks, bro. Right? You got them for 400 bucks. I would do it. I don't know. Even if you do what, reduce the value, what, it's What do you fun. guys think? Let's figure it out. I mean, yeah, y'all let us know that's down in the comments. I, I say rock them. What's that? What else? What's next you got? I, you be rocking these, bro. That's a $100,000 shoe. It's a $100,000 shoe You now. be rocking those. But it's my favorite shoe of all time. Okay, that's true. This is like my favorite thing. What is, what is this sneaker for the people that don't know? This is the Paris Dunk. Okay. So they made 202 pairs. Mm -hmm. um, only 148 hit the public and it was only in Paris. Mm -hmm. And nobody knew nobody really cared it was like a whole thing it was the precursor that made all of the next shoes just go crazy in value okay. the next release being in, in uh london okay and what then this? and then in tokyo okay. with the tokyo dunk and then new york got the new the york pigeon. pigeon dunk and we all remember the mayhem and there was the a pigeon. big riot because everyone knew that that shoe was going to be worth something near this one and at was, the time how much was that because there's only 150 pairs being released so how much was that at the time for this maybe like at the time it was to like 1500 okay. 2000 okay. bucks and that was like almost 20 years ago exactly so what so what, 2000, 18 years ago so yeah so that means yeah because at that time there wasn't shoes now you got shoes every day someone it's a thousand right. bucks or but two thousand dollars shoe 20 years ago that is was crazy huge. for that's for, huge. For basically, you're going, you're getting a ticket, bro, and you win it, 150 bucks. Right. Turns into 2,000. Oh my god. You had every neighborhood, from every borough, from right. New Jersey, from everywhere, you know, all go lining up yeah. in New York to go after that shoe, which then <clears throat> created a craze, right? And then something like this, Concepts 10, 15 years later, Con pulls up. Well, Concepts came out with the Lobster Dunk, and then they came out with the blue one later, and then they made this. Uh, friends and family version mm -hmm. was the yellow lobster. So this is like basically the best one out of all of them. Well, because it never came out. Right. So now this one goes for like 40 G's. 40 bands. Crazy, Just like right? that. Wow. What else we got up here? What, what's, what's up with these? <clears throat> so you what's remember the these? Uncle Dunks? Yep. So the black and pink high tops. Mm -hmm. So this is the low. Okay. That's very rare. There's only a few pairs in the world. Between myself and a friend of mine, we, I think we own like 90% of it. Oh my 80% of it. <laughs> So it's kind of cool to actually have those, you know, just between right, us. Right, right. And I had Futura, who's the legendary street artist. Mm -hmm. He's done stuff already with Off White, with, mm -hmm. and um, we, he was working with Virgil a couple years ago. But this is a shoe. I had him do his artwork on it, and um, you know, I, I never want to let that go. I got offered crazy. crazy money for that because uh, he signed it. So. Right. So when it comes to SBs especially, it's like you have all these different years kind of compiled, but either way, they always find a way to have some crazy one that may be worth fifty or a hundred thousand mm -hmm, dollars. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, I kept that shoe. So like you said, corner in the market kind of having the majority of those pairs. When did you kind of decide like, you know what, if it's a rare sneaker, I want to have like all of them. Like, I don't care. I just want all of them. Well, I had 33 of these. 33 out of 150 mm. pairs? Out of 150 pairs. Oh my gosh. That's what, that's when it all started. Do the math. Imagine if you had all those right now. Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> that's wild. We got all these different generations of SBs. And obviously this was kind of like at the beginning phase. Like when did you start collecting SBs? 
I mean, dude, since the beginning, I mean, the, even before the SB started popping off, I was with the Dunks in like 2000, but look, I still got, I got to go to take care of some people. Okay. I think you can, I think you can manage and maintain and I'll finish that story a little All bit right. later. I'll hold it down. I'll hold right. it down. I hold got down. you. He's going to hold you guys down. All right, y'all. Let's, uh, let's Thanks. take it to this wall right here and we'll, uh, we'll see what we got over here. Oh, look at this one. The patent leather is just yellowing. These are originally like purple, but these things are so old. Mike Bibby nines, lows. These, oh, bro, I know for a fact. So much harder way these things are gonna fall apart. Yeah. So old, so old. Look at here's another pair right here. This pair is cleaner. Yeah. These ones got the 23 on the back. Those ones had the 10 on the back, right? Someone gonna have to soul swap. Yeah, there's two. So there's different shit. versions of these too. So like when they do these um, BBPEs, they would have different versions with the 10 on the back or the 23 on the back. And he was wearing different ones. So when you come to collecting, like, and you want to complete sets or like get all the old BBPEs, like that's something to pay attention to too, because there's not just like one version of it. Like there's multiple when they run these for the players sometimes. So who gonna get commissioned to, to so swap a hundred PEs out of here? Crazy stuff. I don't know. Oregon, this is a track football or a track uh, Jordan 14s. Oregon and they Ducks. did those for like three different teams, right? or they did it for like track football. Yeah, volleyball. they like them. And then they had different text on them stitched on there and it was different colors, but they basically did the gray and the green. So as you can see right here, here's the gray, but it doesn't say anything on here, but it still has the Oregon kind of printed all over with the ducks on the back. And then they have the green right here. Crazy stuff, bro. So we've looked at, how much money have we looked at so far? A lot. Over a million dollars of shoes just in this episode, for yeah, sure. No doubt. Bibby, playoffs 12 low, purple text, 10 on the back, purple on the back. Clean, simple, great PEs right here. And look at the leather. I don't know if you can see the details, but this leather, oh my gosh. The stuff from this time, bro, it beats all the PEs, all the uh, releases, you name it, like just better, bro. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care what nobody said. Another one. Another one, low top. He loved a lot of low tops. Bibby has a lot of different uh, numbers and low tops that you wouldn't typically see um, for those versions. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back. That's coach right there. Crazy, huh? Yeah. What you got just chilling on the floor? Right here we got PSGs. This is the friends and family pair. So you saw the, the black pair with the suede. This is the white pair with the premium leather right here. And um, reflective too, right? The On the tongue? Yeah. But I don't, no, I think this, or are you talking about just the tongue or the upper? I think it's just the tongue. Yeah, yeah, the tongue got the 3M on it. I was like, they made a 3M upper? No, imagine, <laughs> like the Neymar. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Those yeah, Neymar five lows are fire. Yeah, yep. The Paris is uh, behind the net right here. Kind of giving that Supreme vibe. You know what I'm saying? Remember the Supreme five where they did that? Yeah. Something cool. These are a size 14 though, so. Oh, 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 oh. What y'all know about these? What y'all know about these? Drop a comment down below. Damn. Embroider 45 on the back, pink jump man, pink. Oh, snakes crazy. All white. Look at the little pink right here. Champagne. It, can you see that? Champagne right there. Oh my god. Oh. I already seen these before, but I'm just trying to hype them up. <laughs> but these are pretty dope though. Either way, they're pretty dope. Um, I'm I don't know. Do they have the gray pair? They might. Oh, dope. Look at they got the pink laces. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get real extra out. Where those in October, it's over. For the low price of $45,000. <laughs> For $100,000, you can get two pairs. Hey, buy one, get one for the same price. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. It's a 13. Hey, the list just keeps getting longer. It's a 13. Okay, so let me show y'all. Look, I'm gonna show y'all real quick, cause we're getting close to the end of this episode. We're gonna be pushing to the next episode soon. But this right here, I need to get, I need these back in my collection because funny story is, this used to be my pair. But I gave these to Blitz, well, I didn't give them to Blitz, but I worked a deal with Blitz on these because these were a size 12 and I'm a 13. So I needed, you know, I need my size. But looks like Blitz has a size 13 and a half right here. And I'm like, I can make that work. So I need these and I need these. 
on the cheaper end. There's a couple of shoes that are a little bit more expensive. We'll talk about those later though. Okay, what else we got up in here? Over here, I think is the uh, history of flight pack, but we'll see. So let's just take out some of the shoes. So all of these boxes that are tagged the same are the same exact models. Like we talked about the Pantone pack. This is, I'm assuming the history of flight. Yes, this is a history of flight pack. So again, you might've seen these at like a Nike town or something like that on display. Um, but they did the entire set, white premium leather. It's like pearlized. It's got that red kind of carbon fiber look on the, on the uh, sock liners. And it's got the white stitching, super, super clean shoe. And honestly, with the yellowing based off of the age of this shoe, these are look really, really nice. 3M tongue, white bib. This is just the Jordan 5. I'm gonna show you guys a few. I'll try to, you know, maybe, oh, the six. They gotta get these things out the bag, man. Let them breathe, let them breathe. Oh, look at that. Now, y'all know I'm a sucker for sixes, so when I saw these, I was gonna, look at that red bottom, bro. These things are going crazy. So they got the sixes. Those looking oxidized already. Oh, no, bro. They gotta let that bag breathe. We're gonna let that bag breathe for sure. Sevens right here. Gonna let that bag breathe. Let that shoe breathe. Uh, I think they have the 11s and stuff too. So let's make sure we find those for them because it's all a uh, red Sharpie on the box. Yep. So I'm pretty sure it's right here. Uh, so let's take a quick gander for the people. Now this is the History of Flight Air Jordan 11. So as you can see, all white kind of gives you that the white anniversary vibe. Remember the white anniversary had the white on the inside on sock liner, still similar, kind of give you that similar that hair and bone kind of carbon fiber look to it. And then you got the all red, all red pods, all red outsole, give me that red vibe. Super clean, super crazy. The black laces. We saw a lot of black laces on all the other versions. So this is a part of the history of flight pack. This pair in particular is probably the most expensive one. These are the Jordan ones, I'm assuming. So how much do you think these are going for now? Like 25,000 or something? Bro, that's 30,000, who knows? Like, yeah, probably. They're probably somewhere around there. Uh, we could do some fact checking on the number, but I can guarantee you they're more than $15,000. I can guarantee that for sure. Um, the Jordan 9s, like I said, they got all the numbers. The Jordan 10s. A lot of different versions right here. Make sure I put it back. In I see order. that Jordan One right there. You want me to get the Jordan One? I think they want to see it. All right, let's show them the Jordan One. All right, man, they got the threes and the fours too. Oh right? yep, yeah. Is that gonna fall? Well. Nah, we'll do this. Let's do the ones and the twos. You know, it's the year of the twos. We'll show the twos. <laughs> Jordan One. Honestly, I'm gonna be dead ass with you. This is like not cool. No, they look like that mid. Like, remember that mid in like it's, 2016, look at, 2017? It's the retro. Yeah. It's with the, it don't even got the Nike Air. Yep. But I can guarantee you they'll still sell for over $10,000. And there's a lot of regular GRs that look way better than these, but hey, who's talking, right? <laughs> You're the Jordan 2. Now this one, I think, I think these are clean. I think these are solid. I think these look better than ones in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think down below. Do these look better than the ones? I think so. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, 
If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Oh, 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 o